Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I got my little sidekick here. She said she wanted to film with me right now. If you guys are new, my name is Haley. This is Sydney. I'm a single mom. I do all kinds of motherhood and lifestyle videos on this channel. Today's video is going to be a mix of a grocery haul, a, an extreme budget grocery haul, um, as well as how I am finagling this extreme budget and the groceries that I was able to snag um, into a week's worth of meals and snacks. So I have sort of a loose menu with meal ideas, if I could pick them up off my table. So basically I went to the grocery store and had a loose idea of what we would do for meals um, based on kind of what we eat typically throughout the week anyway and what, what our go-tos are. Um, and I asked you guys on Instagram the other day, I, I knew I needed to go grocery shopping and I had planned on doing a grocery haul, but I also was very curious to know what your grocery budget was for the week or month or whatever whatever your grocery budget was, I was floored. I am the type of person to go to the grocery store with kind of no budget. But I mean, it always typically comes out to the same amount every week, but I don't go there with a specific budget in mind and um, like shopping based on that. So I do love doing online ordering and grocery pickup and meal planning and things like that. And that helps it, you know, it helps me keep my um, grocery bill down, but I can't even say that. My grocery bill is usually, are you ready for it? I typically spend, I would say 150, um, and that will last us about nine days. That is an average, a very average grocery haul for us. Like I said, I don't go there with a specific budget or try to keep it super low. Food is just my thing and I know that's high. Like that's high for just two of us. Um, and I know there's so many of you who are all over the map. Anyway, most of you guys kept it really low and I was so shocked to know that. I mean, I know I spend a lot on groceries, um, but again, it is my thing. Sydney and I, we don't really, I don't have a budget for going out to eat or anything like that. We might do like, I don't know, Subway once a month or pizza like once every three months or something. I don't know. Um, we just don't do like that type of a, a budget. Um, we eat from home. We are home all the time. You know, I do work from home. So we eat all of our meals at home all the time. And I just look forward to cooking an amazing meal and feeling like it's an experience. Um, so yeah, there's that. Anyway, that was a long story, but there were also a few of you who said $100 per person per month is your go-to. And then I think um, Jordan Page is someone that a few of you also recommended. She does like frugal living and things like tips like that um, here on YouTube. I think she's really popular. I watched a few of her grocery grocery budgeting videos and they she had suggested again something like $100 per person per month. Based on that alone, breaking that down would be $50 a week for groceries for Sydney and I. So that is only a third of my typical grocery bill. And I wanted to challenge myself to see what I could buy for around $50. I have things on hand like quinoa. This is what I have for oats. This is all I have in house for oats. I may need more, but I can get away with those. I do have some chia seeds and in my pantry I have some protein pancake mix and I also have some cornbread there and I do have some balsamic vinegar I have oils so I can make homemade dressings and things like that um, I have plenty of flour sugar um, I do have an unopened bag of tortilla strips not sure what I'll do with that and I also have a almost full thing of chicken broth and I didn't open this that long ago I have flax meal and things like that already. Yeah, I definitely have condiments. And then also lemons and limes. These are fairly new, so I won't need to be buying lemons and limes, I don't think. So. So Sydney and I just got back from doing our grocery shopping and I wanted to show you what we picked up. So 
I will tell you the grand total um, at the end. I do have to stop at Hannaford um, to get chicken, um, but I'll probably do that tomorrow because I have uh, like one little pack of chicken in the freezer right now. And I'm just weird. That's the only place I buy my chicken. Anyway, so we went grocery shopping at Market Basket and I stuck with my budget. You know, I took my little my phone in there and I was like adding things up and weighing my fruits and vegetables, which I never do, um, to try to stick to my budget. I'm not like a huge health nut, but I do like to buy healthy foods, lots of fresh produce. I don't like to buy prepared foods all the time. Like, yes, I buy like frozen pizza and mac and cheese um, to have usually once a week, but I'm not a huge frozen meal person um, or pre-prepared like quick foods because I'm home all the time. I do have, you know, extra time to cook. You know, I'm not running out the door for work or anything like that. Um, so just keep that in mind. So I also did try to stay on the healthier route just because um, I know like a lot of healthier organic things tend to be a little bit more expensive, but I wanted to challenge myself and get healthy nutrient packed food items also saving money and staying on my budget as well and i totally did that i think i did that at least so okay this is everything that i picked up for groceries for the week besides the chicken like i said so pasta is one of those things that is super inexpensive um and i was able to get whole wheat whole wheat is definitely a lot better than just the regular white pasta this has you know a lot of fiber protein minerals and things like that so i got a market basket brand penny pasta this was only a dollar and or maybe a dollar nine no i believe it was five for five so this was only a dollar so i got a penne and a rotini both whole wheat and then i did sydney i usually do have um, mac and cheeses on hand this is gonna last us a couple of weeks we usually do a box of mac and cheese once a week um and i would usually get the cauliflower mac and cheese not that it matters i mean mac and cheese is mac and cheese is processed anyway but i got these because these were I don't know. These were really inexpensive. I'll put the total or the price on the screen here. So I got two boxed mac and cheeses to have for Sydney in my pantry. And then for snacks, Sydney wanted veggie sticks this week. I always like to have something crunchy. We can have them with sandwiches or something, but we just chose this. This was definitely not the most um, like cost effective, but I think it was like two fifty, so it wasn't horrible. But we just something different to have veggie sticks. And then I did get a thing of eggs. Eggs are so amazing to have for breakfast. They are a wonderful source of protein and um, vitamin D and things like that. So we got some eggs. We can do hard boiled eggs, scrambled eggs, um, bake with them obviously, and uh, egg salad, things like that. And then I got a thing of frozen peas. Frozen vegetables are definitely inexpensive as well. Um, we already have like frozen broccoli and spinach on hand. So I got a thing of frozen peas. This was like 89 cents or maybe like a dollar, something like that. And then I got a frozen pizza. You guys, I have to have pizza, like a frozen pizza that I can just shove in the oven once a week and no this is not the brand that I ever get but this is the you know one of the least expensive I do know that you can do like a fresh dough pizza and make them throughout the week too but this is just a nice like hey I don't want to do anything I want to pop the pizza in the oven and be fine but that was $3.89 and for bread I always try to do a whole grain or something like that so I ended up getting the market basket 12 grain bread and this was I think two dollars yep two dollars which is a good deal some of the breads can get up to like five bucks um, for the ones <laughs> ones that I like. So I always try to get it on sale anyway, but this was only $2 and it's still just 12 grain. And then as far as another bread item that I got, I got some whole wheat tortillas. These were again, more expensive than the white ones um, by like 50 cents or something like that. But I thought whole wheat is, it's just, a, I don't like to buy like white, you know, carbs or anything like that if I'm gonna eat carbs which I eat carbs all the time at least I'm getting a little bit better nutrients values but we can do some tortilla pizzas with this we can do quesadillas um, make wraps out of them fajitas like so many different items and these are really good to have on hand because you can freeze them too they last a long time they don't go bad quickly and then I also got some canned veggies um, canned veggies are so inexpensive but I usually like to get the no salt added, but I went with a cheaper version this time. Um, so I went with sliced carrots. These are all Market Basket brand, obviously. Sliced beets. Sydney loves beets with vinegar, so we will definitely do that this week. And then I think I already have 
I think I have some green beans on hand as well. And then I got some corn. We were out of peanut butter, so I got Jif Natural peanut butter. And this was pretty on par with price-wise. I would usually get a bigger one, and I know like sometimes cost um, like per unit or per ounce is where you're getting the best value, but I really wanted to stick with a $50 or under $60 budget that's why I ended up getting this um, but yes just know if you're looking for best value then a lot of times sometimes the bigger ones are you know more bang for your buck um, I decided to get some almond milk this week I just went with vanilla unsweetened almond milk Sydney likes to drink it I use this in overnight oats and then you can also use it in coffees and things like that and moving on to more cold products I, I can't skip my coffee creamer <laughs> sugar-free coffee mate hazelnut this was $3.49 um, and I know I can get like regular cream and it will be less expensive but this is one of the things that I just right now I can't sacrifice I'm, I'm trying to find something healthier for me but that's what it is and then I we did need milk on hand so I got a small thing of 2% milk for Sydney to drink and for me to you know make that mac and cheese with or bake or whatever else we need um, needed some milk so 2% I just got like the small one of it um, so that it, we don't waste and it doesn't go bad so I'm sure you guys know if you watch my channel I usually like the Rayo's pasta sauce it is my favorite and it is so good but it is also like eight dollars <laughs> so I ended up getting this one for less than two dollars and I know the flavor isn't going to be you know maybe quite up to par but I will doctor it up because I have some um like cream on hand or sour cream and cheeses and then garlic and seasonings you can doctor up um jarred pasta sauce very easily so hopefully you know we'll jazz that up a little bit and then i ended up getting some yogurt for sydney this is something that i definitely would not buy because i mean this was really inexpensive you guys this was less than two dollars it was a dollar 89 but this is also low fat yogurt so it's higher in sugar lower in protein like I would usually get Sydney Greek yogurt or both Sydney and I Greek yogurt but I was on a budget the Greek yogurt was two dollars more so I went with this blueberry yogurt and then this was a thing that I really wasn't going to get Sydney but she wanted um this was three dollars I would usually or I would if I was really sticking to a budget would get a block of cheese and then slice it off to for her to have some cheese snacks but she really wanted string cheese this week so I got her some string cheese and then I also got a thing of Mexican shredded cheese for pizzas tortilla pizzas um quesadillas, fajitas, whatever we decide to do. Always nice to have that on hand. That was $1.99. And then as far as produce goes, I got a couple of green peppers. Green peppers are always less expensive than like red, orange, and yellow. Yeah, go ahead. Um, but yes, they, you know, aren't as nutrient dense um, as like the colored vegetables, but I went with these because these were $1.49 a pound versus $2.49 a pound. So I just got two green peppers and then a couple of avocados since they were on sale. They were uh, 99 cents each and usually they are $1.49 each. So I got two of those and those are pretty hard. So there'll be a few days until we eat them anyway. And then I got some bananas. I really wanted to get green bananas, but they didn't have any. So I just picked these up. I got four bananas. They were 49 cents a pound or something like that. And then sweet potatoes, very inexpensive, so nutrient dense and so good for you. So I ended up getting three sweet potatoes, which I think was like a dollar fifty or something. Super good bang for your buck here. You can make casseroles, do them baked. You can make French fries out of them. Um, eat them all up and these are so healthy for you but so inexpensive for what you get as far as nutrients go and then cucumbers were on sale two for 89 cents so i grabbed two and then another thing that really is not that cost effective um sydney has some snacks some diced pears and 100 percent juice if you buy like the big container of them they're better cost cost wise um but that's just what i picked up i think that was two dollars and then blueberries were on sale for two dollars per pint so picked up some fresh blueberries and then i also decided to pick up a cantaloupe um because it was 2.99 for a cantaloupe i really wanted watermelon but it was 3.99 so i figured hey save a dollar we'll get some cantaloupe we haven't had some in a while that smells really ripe and ready to be sliced right now 
And then I can't, I really, really was craving sparkling water and I found this one, whatever brand this is, um, and this was the least expensive for like the big packs. I think this was, it was under $3. It was like two, I don't know. It was under $3 for sure. Um, I just got some raspberry lime sparkling water and that makes me feel festive when I drink that. So yeah, that's everything that I picked up as far as groceries go this week. And I will be getting, I do have to pick up some chicken to have on hand. And then I might possibly need some butter, but we will see where the week takes us. I ended up spending, um, I ended up spending $53 on my grocery bill and then I am going to be buying chicken. So my chicken typically costs like $6 we'll say, because I just buy like a small pack of chicken tenders. They're in nature's place chicken tenders, but I'm just super particular. Anyway, I, it is usually around seven, six to $7 for a small pack of chicken. So we'll just say I spent $60 for the entire week. I'm not gonna lie, I was not that enthused. I got my groceries home, I put them all away, and then I felt like my cupboards were empty, and it just did not excite me. So I had to get inventive, and I'm gonna have to get inventive on what I do make. Um, and I felt like Sydney had no snacks because I usually get easy like grab and go snacks, like pouches and crackers and just things that I could easily grab and give to her and not have to prepare ahead of time. So with that said, I am going to have to cook and prepare um, snacks and get inventive with meals and kind of like use double ingredients on several meals or eat leftovers throughout the week as well. For breakfast, I have smoothie bowls overnight oats so smoothie bowls i'm using my almond milk um i have cocoa powder i will use bananas and i have frozen berries and acai and things like that so i can make smoothie bowls with um and peanut butter and things like that overnight oats um sydney loves like overnight oats with cinnamon or peanut butter and bananas those are super easy staples um to make pancakes because i already have that pancake mix um, scrambled eggs, of course, can go with like toast and fruit. Um, Sydney has fruit every morning anyway. Um, cereal, because I have some cereal in the pantry, so cereal with milk. Uh, banana wraps, so I bought those tortillas so we can slap some peanut butter on them. One of my favorite recipes is to put peanut butter on the wrap with bananas and some granola sprinkled on top. So yummy and so filling too. You can do omelets with all those eggs, um, French toast. I don't love French toast, but it is totally an option. I have eggs, milk, bread, all of that. So that, those are, that's some really good ideas for breakfast. Um, for lunches, probably mostly just do like PB and J's, um, maybe grilled cheese, egg salad, wraps, I leftovers. Have, I have a grilled cheese in a long time. You haven't had a grilled cheese in a long time. Yeah, I do uh, have soup. Um, I know it's summertime, but I do have soup. Like that's an option. That's okay. Um, what else? And then of course, you know, I'll probably do like sliced cucumbers and peppers, um, cheese sticks, veggie sticks and things like that for sides. And then for dinners. So tonight, actually I'm making a pasta bake. So with all that pasta that I bought, I'm just going to make up some pasta, do it with peas, red sauce, and I'll probably add in some, um, sour cream and like shredded cheeses and garlic and spices and just make it like extra yummy and just pop it in the oven and make it like a bake. And so that will be really yummy. We can do quinoa bowls because I have a bunch of quinoa here that I can make with chicken stock um, and quinoa bowls. You can throw any veggies you want in there. I'll do like peppers, sweet potatoes, grilled chicken, corn. And then also with chicken, I'll just do like a staple dinner with like grilled chicken, sweet potatoes and corn or veggie. Um, something like that, mac quesadillas, um, a mac and cheese night, of course, a pizza night, um, a quesadillas, fajitas, I think I already said. So there are so many different options as well um, on there, but that will definitely get us through the week. Um, and as far as snacks go, this is where I was like, okay, I'm going to have to get inventive. What am I going to do um, as far as Sydney's snacks go? She could eat 500,000 snacks in one day. So... Yes. <laughs> as far as snacks go, we have our veggie sticks that I got, pancake bites. So I plan on making like pancake little muffins and pancake bites. Um, you can do corn muffins because I have a cornbread mix. I could also make some egg bites, pop those in the freezer. All of these can go in the freezer and stay there. So you can just pop them out, heat them up in the microwave um, when you are ready to go. So pancake bites, corn muffins, 
egg bites. Um, I've got peppers. Sydney likes to snack on peppers anyway. She's got those pears as well. We have fruit, cantaloupe, blueberries, um, yogurt bark. So with that yogurt that I bought, I could make yogurt bark, throw some blueberries on there, slice almonds that I already have, and pop that in the freezer. And that's an amazing little snack. Um, hard boiled eggs. Sydney loves hard boiled eggs, don't you, kid? Um, I don't even know. This is probably just a big blob of white here. Sorry about that. Um, we have cheese sticks and I'm going to make some peanut butter oat bites. You can just slap some peanut butter with rolled oats, a little bit of honey, a little bit of, I have flax meal and dried cranberries and you can just like throw that all together and pop that in the fridge. And those will be like a grab and go snack. So Sydney will have those. So I'm very hopeful uh, for the week. I think that we will definitely make it. Didn't buy alcohol. I have no alcohol, no wine, no nothing like that. I typically don't anyway. Well, I like maybe once a week on my grocery order, I will usually buy like a bottle of wine, but that's, I usually just buy like a $9 bottle of wine or something. Um, yeah, if you guys feel comfortable, let me know down below what is your grocery budget. I know I asked you and I got so many responses on Instagram, but if you weren't able to partake in the Instagram poll, um, you can leave me a comment down below. What is your typical go-to grocery budget? How many does it feed? How often do you go grocery shopping? I do have a Sam's Club membership, but I haven't been since the whole pandemic hit or I've been since March. So that is also a really good idea to stock up on like pantry items and things like that. Um, so I know like grocery budgets and things can be different depending on, you know, if you go to bulk stores or how often you go. It's also very eye-opening on how much you really can do um, with stretching your budget and stretching the food that you do get. It's super eye-opening on how much you can actually save if you try and that's without couponing. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel with your notifications turned on so that you know when I upload and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys.